Why, hello there. Welcome to our new weekly segment. Um, I was going to call it Tips and Tricks. It's something we do once a week just to kind of give you guys a little tidbit of something um, just midweek in between my larger videos just to give you a little something to improve your makeup routine or improve your day-to-day -day makeup stuff. Um, uh, and I was going to call it Tips and Tricks, but then I thought, why not call it Just the Tip? Like, just a tip. You know what I mean? It just fits. You know what I mean? The tip just fits. Anywho, so today the topic of conversation is going to be blotting. But before we get into that, I know there's something that all of you have been really dying to um, see. And, you know, I just... They're, they've been floating around on the internet, and I figure that I have to get them out in the open now before I regret it later, or it comes up to haunt me. So, I mean, I've got a big cock, and it's... I love, I love my big cock, I love taking pictures with my big cock, I love sharing my big cock, so I figured I might as well just share it with you guys now, get it out of the way, so that way... If, you know, I ever do, if this ever becomes something, it's not anything I'm going to have to worry about. So, here, I'm just going to show it to you right now. This is my big cock. Now back to the video! You really think I was going to whip my pants down and show you my cock? You, you little whores at home. Stay, keep your pants on. So for today's Just the Tip, I thought we would talk about something that is really basic, something that everyone can benefit from, men, women, but especially men, because it's probably something that they're not as familiar with. I mean, I'm sure all guys are familiar with having oily skin, oily complexion, trying to um, keep the shine down, trying to stay matte, not really knowing what to do, what kind of options are out there. Um, there are a lot of options for staying matte, and combating oil buildup on your skin. Basically, how much or how little oil your skin produces is completely genetic. You don't really have any control over it. Um, there's lots of steps that you can take to kind of minimize the amount of oil your skin produces, like using a clarifying toner, properly moisturizing your skin, drinking a lot of water. There's lots and lots of things that you can do to kind of keep your face mattified. Don't worry, you don't have oily skin because you ate too many chocolate bars and you don't wash your face. Thumbs up for um, uh, cheesy 90s reference. Um, <laughs> so basically there's three big fields. First one is powders. Now for me, I try to avoid powder as much as possible. This is something I'm going to touch on on my next video. Um, powder is really a man's biggest enemy because ladies, Ladies can get away with powder, maybe looking a little cakey, kind of building up their foundation because at the end of the day, if someone, if a woman looks like she's wearing makeup, that's fine. It's socially acceptable. But for men, discretion is a huge, huge deal. So when you're cakey, if you have powder on your face, if it registers, it's just a really big no-no. It's something that no guy wants. So I usually, like I'll do a powder if I'm setting a foundation, if I'm finishing a, a, a foundation look. Um, for example, today, after I did my foundation and my concealer and all that kind of stuff, I did a finishing powder. Um, but then, of course, at the very end of my look, I always use a finishing spray. So that way I get that dewy, natural skin look because the last thing you want on the surface of your skin is a powdery look. It will... No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do that. Just don't. <laughs> So this is an example of a pressed powder. This is Max Prep and Prime. I really like it. I do like it for touching up during the day, but the only problem with these kinds of powders is that though they claim to be translucent, they build on themselves and they do eventually become visible. So it, me with my makeup, I'm not as worried about discretion. I am in my day-to-day -day life or if I'm just like if I'm going on a date or if I'm doing something out in public and like bright sunlight, those kinds of things, you like it's really showing when you're wearing a lot of makeup. But like for the most part, I'm not too worried about looking like I'm wearing makeup. I love makeup, I don't mind being visible. But um, things like this do show and if discretion is something that's really important to you, I don't think that 
going for all day oil control. This is great for like the occasional touch up, but like all day oil control, non-stop, constantly applying it on your face, maybe not a good idea, but it's an option. And the second option is kind of topical ointments, creams, and liquids. Um, they range from mattifying creams and liquids to primers and setters that you would put on after your moisturizer but before your makeup. So basically the primer is the middle way. It should be the last step in your face routine and the first step in your makeup routine. So we'll talk a lot about primers. Primers are kind of a man's saving grace. Um, but that's, that's a topic for a different video. So be patient. Um, <laughs> so basically products like the MAC, matte cream basically it's just oh i'm gonna do oh i'm a real youtuber now look did you see that <laughs> basically products like this or this is my all-time favorite primer it's called baby skin it's instant pore eraser costs nine bucks it's really there's no man that shouldn't own this it's literally perfect it's completely clear you have absolutely no way of knowing that it's on your skin it'll it, masks pores, fills in fine lines, eliminates redness, mattifies your skin, and it works all day. Like, But the problem with this is that it can run you a little bit more expensive. Um, it's, it's a good option, but it's not the only option. Now, the third and probably one of the most popular options are blotting sheets. So blotting sheets, everyone's seen these. These are um, uh, Shiseido blotting sheets. You can get them at like Shoppers Drug Mart or your local grocer. I, I don't know where you would get it if you're not in Canada. I don't live outside of Canada, so go look. <laughs> um, uh, so basically they're just these like little, very overexposed. Um, <laughs> they're just these little paper sheets and you just kind of dab them on I mean, I just did my makeup. I would really hope I'm not oiling right now. Um, yeah, you just dab it on the surface of your skin and then the material is really porous and thin and kind of absorbs any excess oil that's on the surface of your skin, giving you a matte look. This is something that is probably the easiest to do. Um, the only problem is that a lot of companies really charge an arm and a leg for something that's essentially thin paper. Um, like this, the, the Sashado cost me like $18 for like, I mean, it's lasted me a really long time. They, they do a good job and everyone loves like applying it to their face and then looking at like how disgustingly greasy their skin is. Most of the times at the end of the day, you could fry an egg with all the oil I accumulate on my forehead. I am so freaking greasy. It's pretty disgusting. Basically, you've got your pressed powders, which are great when you've got your makeup on it's great for finishing a foundation look um it's a very usable viable option then you've got your mattifiers and your primers primers i think are definitely a, a must like every man needs to own this it's definitely definitely worth your money um and then you've got your sheets um your sheets are really great for even after you've applied your primer if you do tend to get oily throughout the day if you do tend to find yourself out and about and you just got a little bit of oil blah 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 it's really great for random spot treatments at any time and then you don't have to pull out a compact in public because i know uh, another thing for guys is that the last thing you want to do is be sitting on the bus and like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hey boy mm -hmm, what's up? Mm -hmm. like it's not uh, sadly in our society if a man pulls out a compact in public, he's gonna get a look, which is sad, but it's the reality of the world. So trying to find options that are discreet. Um, so now for the piece de resistance. Um, there is a fourth option, and this option is the option that I use and that I recommend everybody uses because honestly, when I found out about it, it really was a game changer for me. Toilet paper. Now, you might be saying, you know, why would I want to use a product I use to clean my rectal area upon my face? Well, first off, I would hope you don't use it on your rectal area and then use it on your face because that that's another problem <laughs> that you might want to deal with, maybe with a therapist. Um, so basically what you do is you take your toilet paper and you split the plies 
like so. And then it basically creates that same porous, thin, like I don't know if you can see how thin this is. I can behind it. It's very, very thin and super porous. Tons of tiny little holes and you just dab it on the surface of your skin and it absorbs all kinds of oil. I use it after I put on, I do a, a heavy cream and liquid mix contour for my face makeup. Um, so after I do that, it's really nice to use this. Um, I think it's a really great option. There's toilet paper everywhere. There's nowhere you're gonna go that there's not gonna be toilet paper. If you're going somewhere that there's no toilet paper, you probably shouldn't be going there anyway, so just stop going there. Guys, I mean, it's really easy to carry along with you. And you could, if you're out at an event or you're out at a restaurant with friends or you're at a party, it's really, really easy to just go to the bathroom, remove the two plies and pat your face. It's completely discreet. No one will ever know you're doing it. And you'll always have that really nice matte look. And it's a million times cheaper than really any of the other options I talked about today. I mean, like I said, I'm just gonna reinforce that having a primer or a mattifier is a really good option. It keeps you matte and it also helps to fix other problems other than oiliness, like redness, fine lines, large pores, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I've got some great fruit sized pores. So I mean, anything that can help people from not seeing through my entire head because my pores are so big, is, is a check mark in my book. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please do try the toilet paper trick because I swear to God, it will change y your life. It is so affordable, so easy, and it really, really works. It basically acts like a blotting sheet for an eighth of the price and you're really not wasting a bunch of money on the, ooh, look how much oil is on my skin factor. Um, uh, but anyway, Thank you so much for watching. That's all for this video. Um, share, like, subscribe. Um, let me know if there's anything you want to see, if there's anything that you want me to touch on. And please, please let me know how the toilet paper works for you. It really works for me. It's something that a lot of friends that I have who are in the makeup industry love to use. It's kind of like a little secret. Um, uh, so do let me know how it works for you. I'm really excited to hear it. Um, and until next time, see you later, bros and hoes.